Hello everybody, this is Donna Miller with Miller Crafts and today I'm going to show you how to convert a clip art image into an SVG that your cutting machine, whatever one you have, a Cricut, Silhouette, Brother Scan and Cut will be able to cut for you. So I highly recommend looking for images off of this clipartlibrary.com. This is a really good website to, that you can go and it will tell you exactly if it's a commercial use or if it's personal use. So you won't have to worry about licenses and stuff on here because it will tell you what it is. So you just go to that website, click in the search engine what you want. This one tells you right there that this is not for commercial use, which means it's personal use. You can use it on your website, your blog, or any other thing you want, just as long as you're not selling it, which I didn't because I'm giving this away to my friend um, as a birthday card. So you can use this and it's free. So uh, this is a website that I would definitely recommend. So go to the search engine in there, type in what you want. I typed in John Deere. And these are the image results that I got. Now this first one you want to avoid. It has too much shading. It's not going to give you a good image. You're going to have too many layers. So you want to avoid anything that has shading. Don't go with an image with lots of shading. So that would be my biggest tip that I could help you with. So you want to look for something that's simple, that has very few colors. So this one is a really good choice. There's only four colors. The deer drawn symbol right there is another really good choice. Um, this tractor right here would not be because it's got flashing lights. It's just not going to be a good image. This one here has too many colors. So you're going to get way too many layers. That's not a good choice. So you want to find something that has very few colors and layers. So once you get it, you're going to click on that one. And then that's going to bring you to this site. And if you look on here, it tells you it's personal use. So you're going to click on this and you want to save this. So then you want to go to Inkscape. This is a free thing off of Inkscape.org. You can download this and this is the program that you're going to want to use. So you're going to right click, click paste and bring your image in there. And this image is really small so we're going to make it larger. So I'm just going to hold the control button and use the scroll on there. You're going to want to use a real mouse and not a trackpad mouse because it won't work very well. So once your image is in there, you're going to want to click on there and go to path and trace bitmap. Once you're in here, then you're going to click the live preview button and that's going to bring up your outline. And we can see right now that this is just a silhouette. That's not what we want. So we're going to want to turn on the colors. So you're going to come over here and click colors and that gives us the colors that we want. And then you're going to want to check box remove background because we don't want that light gray background on there. So you're going to click that and you want to uncheck the smooth button because you'd want the ridges on the tires to show up. You don't want those to be curved. You want to see all of these ridges. And then you're going to mess with the scans. So I'm going to lower the scans. You want the least amount of scans as possible. So you can see as I lower it down, I'm losing color, which is not what I want. If you look at three, I lose the yellow and the blue. So I'm going to want to raise that. You really want these to be less than eight if possible. So the least amount of colors you have, the best. So I'm going to keep that at seven. Hit OK. And you're going to have to X this menu out every single time. So you'll X that out. It doesn't look like it did anything, but it did. It's over top of your original image you had in there. So you're going to need to click and drag that off to the side. And then you're going to come up to the top panel and you will unselect all of your layers. So you're going to go to Object, Ungroup, and that will give you the chance to um, separate all of the layers so you can see what you actually have. So you're going to click on that and you're going to drag off all of your layers. So there's that green, there's a couple green layers I didn't know that I had. And then I have a solid green that I'm definitely going to want. And then I have that black layer and then I have the yellow layer that I want. So I definitely want the blue. I definitely want the yellow. So I'm going to just layer those back on top of and just kind of stack the ones I do want. I want that green 
and I'm going to want this black layer. So I'm just going to put the keep the ones that I want. All the other ones I'm not going to want. So I'm going to click on it and hit the delete button on the keyboard. And you can see like on this green layer here, if you look real close, there's a lot of fine lines and stuff. That's not going to cut out well. So you definitely don't want that. And then you're going to click on your original and hit delete on the keyboard because you don't want that one either. So now you have your image that's going to cut out the different layers. So all we have to do is save it. So click File, Save As, and you just open the folder you want, type in the name that you want, and then it will automatically save it as an SVG so that you can cut this on your cutting machine. So you click, just click the Save button, and then you'll just have to bring this up. So thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you've learned something new.